So tell the people um, some of the records you produced over the years since you started. Okay. Um, well, started off with Young Thug. Uh, I was blessed at a younger age to uh, to be able to have like email. Somebody sent me an email list. I used to send a lot of beats to Gucci's camp. Hmm. Uh, Gucci and um, uh, what's his name, DJ Scream. They mm -hmm. connected me with Thug. So that's how uh, Two Cup stuff came about. Songs like Two Cup stuff, Thief in the Night with me and C4. Um, pretty much all of the stuff that I have with Thug stemmed from me sending emails to, to Gucci Mane mm -hmm. while he was locked up. Um, so, you know, working with Gucci led to me getting my first uh, album placement with Jeezy, mm. which was on the uh, Church in the Streets album. Mm. So I did that record, um, a lot then with a dude named Propane. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people familiar with Propane that Propane was here yesterday. Oh, he was? Got a new artist, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen yesterday. that dude in years, Yeah, he was here bro. yesterday, yeah. So yeah, uh, Propane was, was pretty much like an A&R for me. He uh, he placed a lot of records for me. He, you know, he got my, got my name familiar in Atlanta. I'm not from here, I'm coming from South Carolina. So right. if you're from where I'm from, you know how hard it is to transition from there to here. Um, and we, you know, it's been a blessing just to be able to go from working with local people in my city to, to working with Lil Uzi Bird and, and Drake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he has a Drake record. We got, we what got Drake record, record is that? <laughs> I mean, we did, a, we did a couple of them. We did, um, oh, he got a couple of them. Blue, I don't got no Drake records, but go ahead. Blue Tint, Ice <laughs> Melt. Blue Tint is one of my favorite beats. Man, I love that beat too, honestly. That's one of my favorite beats. So, Blue Tint, Ice Melts, um, What's Next? Uh, mm. Off of the last scary hours, mm. and um, yeah, what was the uh, oh, off of the last album, number two, Champagne's Poppy's Home, Poppy's. yeah, Poppy's Home, yeah, we did that too. That was that was me and a, a, a couple of our friends. Put yeah, that that's one of the things I admire about your sound too is that how clean it is. The the mixes are very clean, and the sound selection has always been uh, good. I mean, you know, seventeen, eighteen. We got together just sending, you know, samples to each other and, and you know, and creating that synergy and going back and forth. And then, uh, you know, I was like, man, how the fuck did you get these beats so goddamn clean? You know what I'm saying? Bro, and I was honestly, I don't even, I, I, I truly don't believe that because I used to listen to y'all shit. I used to listen to your shit. I used to listen to nothing but dedication right. tapes. And I used to study those sounds and I used to pretty much try to mimic everything I heard in there. We all do that. I, I did that as a kid. I mimicked DJ Premier and, and Pete Rock until I couldn't mimic no more. I, we call them training wheels. Mm -hmm. And uh, those were my training wheels. And I'm sure that a lot of people that come to me, they listen to my shit and was like, hey man, that's my training wheels. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm just happy that you know that you were able to come here and uh, and share your talents. Uh, somewhere in the show, we get crazy. We we talk some crazy shit. 